Have you ever wondered why some of the NBA's biggest fan favorites have vanished from the league? No, I'm not talking about Michael Beasley breaking records in China, and I'm not making any jokes about Dylan Brooks and the Shanghai Sharks. One of the NBA's most beloved players that fell off everyone's radar is Taco Fall. The man got chance and standing ovations before playing his first NBA game. <laughs> The 7-6 viral sensation, however, didn't perform in the league as well as everyone hoped. He played three seasons, two with the Celtics and one with the Cavs, before his NBA exit. During that time, he averaged only six minutes played per game and two points per game. Taco didn't play basketball until high school, so even by the time he made it to the NBA, his game was still so unrefined. It was time for Taco to come out of his shell and find a new home where he could develop his skill set and be an impact basketball player for a deserving franchise. In his first season playing in China, Taco took a huge step in his career. In playing only 24.6 minutes per game, Taco's now averaging a double-double, about 14 points and 10 rebounds per game on 73% field goal shooting, which is the best in the CBA. Also, he ranks 4th in the CBA in offensive rebounds, averaging 4.12 per game, and ranks 2nd in blocks per game with 3.3. The only thing consistent today from his NBA days is the fan obsession. Even if Taco's playing career tanks, he might just earn a statue in China off likability alone. Remember Lin Sanity? He looks like the next Kobe in Taiwan, averaging 30 points per game. If you're younger than 18, then you might not remember him, but this guy, Jeremy Lin, was one of the most popular players in the NBA for one season. When the Knicks were plagued by injuries, including Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire getting the worst of it, Jeremy Lin was the team's saving grace. This dude was hitting ISO game winners and draining buzzer beaters. New York fell in love with him, and he looked like the future of the franchise. So what happened to him? Carmelo Anthony was reportedly jealous of all the love Jeremy Lin was getting and grew sick of him hogging the spotlight. The Knicks traded Lin and his career went downhill from there, until he took his talents to China. At first, his overseas career picked up from where his NBA career left off, mid and lackluster. But since February, Lin has dramatically improved. He left the CBA, took his talents to Taiwan, and it's proven to be a very wise choice. He went from averaging 11 points per game to 20 points in one month, and in April, he went crazy. He dropped a 50-piece in the middle of the month and averaged 30 points per game in April. After seeing Jeremy Lin have one of the worst drop-offs in NBA history, it's nice to see him flourish as a star in another country where his talent can go further. The people of Taiwan are in love with Dwight Howard, and I don't see the obsession dying down anytime soon. After being one of the best NBA bigs during his time, winning Defensive Player of the Year three times, making all NBA eight times, and becoming an NBA champion, Dwight Howard was homeless in NBA terms. So he booked a flight to Taiwan and became a national superstar overnight. Not to anyone's surprise, Dwight Howard has balled out in Taiwan during his first season. He's averaging 23 points, 16 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. Pretty ridiculous, but with the big numbers has come a lot of attention that Dwight is thriving in. He's a celebrity in Taiwan and he's eating it up. He's having dinners with Taiwan's elite, he's shooting commercials that go viral, and crowds are following him as he's walking around trying street food. Dwight's also making $1 million a year playing basketball in Taiwan, which gets you a lot further than a million bucks in the States. In Taiwan, Dwight is considered a max guy, a top player in the league, and if he continues to stay down this path, he'll be one of, if not the greatest player to play in their league. Someone that fell off all of our radars but is now a basketball star in China is Thon Maker. Back in the day, Thon was one of the first viral high school hoopers, an OG that paved the way for fans to care about high school hoops and players like Mikey Williams. The dude was a freak coming out of high school, a 7-footer with handles and a jumper. Thon was drafted straight out of high school and picked 10th overall by the Bucks. The hype and potential were there, just not the results. Thon was out of place and didn't fit in the Bucks system. He was traded and then bounced around from team to team before getting bounced out of the league. He played a couple of games in Israel before making his way over to China. Since playing in the CBA, he's not only been able to resurrect his career, but he's been able to showcase his skill set for the first time since his viral high school days. Thon is legitimately one of the top young players in the CBA, currently averaging about 17 and 10. At 25, if he can finally have a consistent team and staff to help him develop his unique skill set and offense, 
offensive weapons, Thon could be an elite player in the CBA for years to come. This former NBA player that you may have never even heard of could go down as the GOAT of Chinese basketball. Remember Jared Sollinger, Ohio State basketball star, former Celtics draft pick? Probably not, but he's cooking in China and he's on his way to earning a statue. In his four seasons playing with the Aviators in the CBA, he's averaging 24 points, 13.3 rebounds, and 51% shooting. He's also sniping threes as a big man, shooting over 40% from three-point territory this season. All Sully needs to cement his legacy is a ring or two and to stay healthy. At 31 years old, he's still in the prime of his career and has plenty of time to add championships to his list of accolades. Maybe recruit some of his fallen NBA brothers like Dylan Brooks and Ben Simmons to create a Chinese basketball big three. I'm James, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like and a comment so we know to keep the videos rolling.